Last bit of injury victim, and the replacement is John Brown, who's starting a first team match for the first time since the league decided against Aberdeen in May, although he came on as a last minute substitute against Sparta Prague last week. Hibbs make only one change from the side which drew at Aberdeen on Saturday. Willie Miller comes in at the expense of Neil Orr. And Mickey Weir, the scorer of six goals this season, has been passed fit to take his usual place in attack. The referee this evening was left this home from Erskine in his tenth season. He's made one official. He's a reporter to the children's panel. Rangers have the task of allowing John Brown and Scott Nisbet to settle in central defence. Keith Wright will certainly put them under lots of pressure. And Hibs have opened up in a very decisive 4-4-2 formation. Mickey Weir operating wide on the right at the start of the match. He's been in splendid form this season. He'll be a major threat there to David Robertson at the back for Rangers. So here's Nisbet enjoying such outstanding form. Keeping Oleg Kuznetsov out of the side. A long run made there by Robertson, but with no prospect of reaching it. We are using Miller. Keith Wright trying to send that across to the near side here for Vodder McLeod. There's Brown. Now it's with Mitchell. Angle ball in. Cross it goes to Mickey Weir. Ryan Hamilton matched there quickly by McCall. And McCall's tackle set up Johnston on the break. There's no free kick given there. Referee Hope waving play on. It was a fine tackle by Hunter on Johnston, but Gordon Hunter is undoubtedly in trouble. He took a knock a few minutes ago challenging Johnston. And here's Keith Wright with a chance for Hibbs. And complaining there, he was being held back on the run. He's very pacey indeed through the middle right. And he had a brief chance in front of goal as Gorham came to meet him. Rangers trying to build again from midfield. The match continuing at a frantic pace. There's Stevens. Now Durant. Haitley's layoff. There's Durant. Complaining there was a deflection there, which should have given Rangers a corner kick. Goal kick it is though. Well, there was a chance here for Keith Wright without any question there. Brown and Nisbet out of reach it appeared. There was Keith Wright now. He just had to catch the ball there. Complaining he was being held by Brown. And really there was a fair claim there on the part of Keith Wright. John Brown. Cross from Robertson now to Nisbet. Uh, loves to come forward like this. Nisbet started his career as a striker. Tremendous play there from Nisbet. Well, oh, clearly fed up with all that passing around the back four. Takes the chance here to come striding forward, showing skill, strength and pace. He saw the gap opening up. And let fly, and Jordan Buddy scrambled across at the last moment to make certain that came to no harm. What good play it was from a central defender, providing another option to the Rangers attacking play. Spikeman picking out McCall, that's good play, a great chance now for Rangers, this is Halstra. Looking for Haitley. And the best attack of the match so far. Finishes with Haitley, sending them all wide of goal. John Burridge clearly unhappy, but it was great play here from Stuart McCall. Halstra had acres of space to attack the Hibs defence. Played this to near post area, looking for Mark Haitley, got the ball first, and Burridge had it covered. Headed by Robertson, there's Haitley. And McCall coming forward more and more now for Rangers to very good effect. This is Haustra. And Bodies is in trouble. And it's scrambled off the line in the last ditch there by Gordon Hunter. Well, what an aberration. 
and a part of the Hibs goalkeeper John Burridge long high cross Burridge appeared to have this well under control then came the fumble he managed to keep the ball away from Morris Johnston and Hunter reacted quickly on the goal line oh what a relief for the goalkeeper that was Hauster again with a cross wants to test Burridge again quickly it's back with Spackman now uh, Hauster dragging the ball inside invited to do so in fact by Weir there's Nisbet setting himself to the left foot shot going for the chip this time well very good idea that from Scott Nisbet John Burridge happily for Hibbs was right on his goal line the header down by Spackman lofted through there by McGinley there's no offside here's Mark McGraw and a fine challenge made by Andy Gorham there's Mickey Weir trying to chip Keith Wright with a header and Hibbs on the head Mickey Weir and Keith Wright celebrate with these Hibbs supporters and Keith Wright again paying off that huge transfer fee with his fifth goal for his new club, Mark McGraw beaten by a very good punch shot from Andy Gorham. Just look at the way Mickey Weir looks up, checks where Keith White is, puts it straight on his head, and the ball is in the net. Well, it was good goalkeeping by Gorham. He then had to scramble back towards his goal, and he's taking some time to do that. You can see him there backpedaling slowly as Mickey Weir flights the ball in. Stevens is on the goal line. Keith Wright sends the ball between Stevens and Nisbet and it's the perfect opening for Hibbs Nick Miller there on the left of the picture the Hibbs manager with a new lease of life for his club this season here's Durant danger now for the Hibbs defence through it goes to Johnston he's offside it was brilliantly saved by Burridge well Johnston clearly not happy about the Lions flag going up but it doesn't matter because John Burridge made sure there was no real protest it's a fine ball played through here by Durant. Let's see where Johnston is. And as the ball was released, I think he was onside. Played on by Willie Miller over on the far side there. Here's Brown. Good one two there with Hauerstrap. This is McCall taking over. Brown continues the run forward. Durant picks out Stevens. That's for Johnston. It's good play from Rangers and also from Gordon Hunter in defence. Spackman trying to pick out the run made by Stevens. And the Hibbs organization pays off again. Good play from Hibbs. Mother McLeod nudging the ball forward there to McGinley. The Hibbs supporters are enjoying this hugely. And they're certainly entitled to. Here's Mickey Weir. Ball finds its way across to McGraw. They're queuing in the box now for Hibbs, but there's plenty of cover back. Here's Mickey Weir with a chance for the second. And it's brilliantly saved by Gorham. Well, Andy Gorham with a lingering look at his defenders. McGraw playing this across. It looked as though the Rangers' defence could clear this. David Robertson's header going to Mickey Weir. Dropped there, back to Weir. And the save from Gorham was vital. So here's Weir now with a corner kick. Very good challenge made inside the area by Nigel Spackman to deny Tommy McIntyre. Here's Rangers now in the break with Johnston. Haithley goes through the middle. Hauerstrott on the left. And Willie Miller going into that challenge, turning defence into attack instantly. Well, this is developing into a splendid football match. And Hibbs looking good value for the lead at the moment. Andy Gorham prevented it becoming two goals. Good running by Spikeman. His run wasn't matched from midfield. Cross it goes there to Johnston. And that could have gone for the corner. It came off Graham Mitchell, but Burridge was alert enough. Alec Miller down below is waving his team forward. He wants to play the game in the Rangers half. Good challenge by Brown. McIntyre laying it off calmly into midfield to Hamilton. This is Weir. Elizabeth's clearance goes straight to McGinley and the 
noise you hear is coming from the hip supporters at half time Keith Wright has scored just on the half hour a superb goal to give Hibs a lead which they reached the reserve in the balance of play in that first half but for Andy Gorman might have been two so Hibs have contributed hugely to an outstanding cup semi-final there's lots of outstanding action to come I'm sure in the second half at half time it's Rangers nil Hibs won Hibs reappeared for the second half to a tremendous reception from their supporters and that certainly was thoroughly merited on that first half performance Hibs looking so well organized so determined and they had a number of outstanding individual performances to contribute to what was I'm sure the most pleasing 45 minutes they've enjoyed for some considerable time even taking into account the excellent start they've had to the season for Rangers there were problems undoubtedly they have to sort out their supply from midfield to the front men and make certain there are no misunderstandings in the back four Nisbet and Brown coming together for the first time this season back from Durant Nisbet using Brown on his left stumble there by Houstra no one forward for Hibbs to put pressure on Nisbet or Gorham a long ball from Nisbet up goes Hayte there's Johnston he's under pressure all the way back from Gordon Hunter Johnston looking hopefully for a foul and a penalty kick indeed but Gordon Hunter again rescued Hibbs with a tremendous challenge header on from Hayte created the problem and Hunter simply wouldn't be denied with that challenge well Hibs have put so much into the opening out of the match you wonder if the stamina may be tested here but here's Mickey Weir running at the defence he loves to do this and good play by Keith Wright also Lord of McLeod would like to have had the chance to shoot for goal this is Mitchell and Brown's headed clear saves the day for Rangers here's Martin McLeod again Hamilton's in space on the right, this is promising for Hibbs. And that one almost surprised Andy Gorham. I'm not at all certain that was what Hamilton intended. He's, he's disappointed. Mother McLeod picked him out well with a very accurate pass. And Hamilton looking up, I think he tried to play it across the face of the goal and sliced it somewhat, but Gorham made a good save. McCoy's tackled well by Hunter. Well, he's performed brilliantly against Wellington still forward. Gordon Hunter is now facing another. First it was Johnston, now it's McCoy. This is Mickey Weir. Cross it goes to the far side and Gary Stevens turning it back. Gordon beats the ball to safety. The race is on. And the athleticism of Gary Stevens gets to that ball ahead of Pat McGinley. Incredible running power, Stevens. And he's set up another attack for Rangers. McCall sending it forward there for McCoy, and the interception again was made by Gordon Hunter. So here's Mickey Weir coming forward again, that attack a moment or two ago, playing the ball across, and it was Gary Stevens who deflected that back. Gordon had no option but to beat that away from right. So a second Ranger substitute warming up. Now Sandy Robertson is on the track below us, preparing to come on. Here's a chance for Johnston, setting himself to the left foot shot. Here's McCoy on the rebound, and Burries was quick enough. Well, a stroke of luck which may make all the difference to Hibbs. It was fine striking play, this by Morris Johnston, controlling the ball here, going past Graham Mitchell, the left foot shot. Burries was in trouble, and then the recovery by the keeper was remarkable as McCoy played that on target. Well, Rangers pinning him back now, testing their defensive resources to the full. McCall playing it in there's Hey play the set up there, and it's Durant and McCoy leave it to each other, allowing McIntyre to intercept. There's Spackman. McCall collects, looking up for the options, none available, and his attempt to find Mark Haitley goes wrong. So a goal kick to Hibbs and the chance to bring on a substitute. The ball played across here by Gary Stevens. 
and McCall lofting it towards Hatley, they headed across there and a bit of uncertainty on the part of Ian Durant so Gareth Evans has replaced Mark McGraw up front for hits Alec Miller instructing Neil Orr who may well come on shortly or I think he may do his warming up towards the Hibs half with instructions for his teammates there's right into space it goes for Evans midfield players making their way into the box can Evans release a cross that's a good effort whistling across the face of the goal and he got a went for that all right couldn't get a touch played forward by Keith Wright and Gareth Evans going after that very willingly indeed as you would expect for the man just on the field checking inside playing that towards the far post and it's a good effort So here's Scott Nisbet looking for Haitley again. That's helped on and Tommy McIntyre not only intercepting but pulling it down, picking out a pass for Mickey Weir. That's for right if he can get in behind John Brown, but Brown is pacey enough to get there ahead of the hip striker. Walter Smith waving the back four forward to link up better in midfield. There's Hamilton. Johnston over there on the far side, bringing it down well. Durant offers himself ahead. Faced by Hamilton, good play by Durant, measuring himself to the cross, Mickey Weir back defending, Wright has won it, here to be eased off that by Nisbet, but there's no complaint from the hip striker, Spikeman has possession again, up goes McIntyre, he's had a great match in central defence beside Gordon Hunter, these two have been the rock on which the Rangers attacks have perished most of the evening, Weir takes this to the corner flag. Steps away from David Robertson, looking up now for an accurate cross. Still forcing his way inside. It came off Weir last. That'll be a goal kick. He has such quick feet, Weir. Draws defenders close to him and steps past them. Sandy Robertson now preparing to come on for Rangers below us as Hunter makes that lusty clearance. Collected by Stevens. Here's John Brown. Hey, play with a layoff for McCall. This is for McCoy. It's McCall again. It was brilliant play there from Rangers. McCall's frustration and enthusiasm inducing that very rash tackle. After the chance had gone, McCall went careering forward. And there was Gordon Hunter. And he's whacked there by Stuart McCall. So too was Burridge. Headed away there by Martha McLeod. Here's Gary Stevens. Just one minute left in the match. Can Rangers save the semi-final? Mickey Weir's header. Here's McGinley. Here's Keith Wright now. With a chance to settle it for Hibbs. Faced by Nisbet. One on one. And Nisbet did well. But you can be sure Hibbs will take plenty of time about this corner kick. More precious time goes by. Keith Wright may feel he could have done better there. Alec Miller brought back to the dugout by Jerry Evans, the fourth official. Sides frequently vulnerable at corner kicks. Mickey Weir plays it short. He has possession again. He can retain it at the corner flag. Trying to get away from Gary Stevens. There's Robertson to McCall. The referee's checking his watch. Hibbs on the brink of a dramatic victory in the semi-final. Ruffy Douglas Hope checks his watch and there goes the final whistle. Hibs have beaten Rangers. They're through to the Skull Cup final. And there's the scene of jubilation among the supporters. Alec Miller, a former Rangers player, celebrating on the pitch below us. He's come through trials and tribulations of the most pressurized kind. And now he faces a Skull Cup final having overcome the favourites for the trophy in everyone's eyes. Rangers though, on the night, a well beaten side. It was a magnificent goal from Keith Wright in the first half which settled it. Hibbs then drew in all their powers of resilience on their organisation and the determination. And the final of the Skull Cup next month 
will be between Dunfermline Athletic and Hibernian. It's Rangers nil, Hibernian 1.